Adriana Rincon is a pillar of strength for her family and community. I think she really took care of us and looked after us when we were younger, you know, making sure that we had positive influences all the time. And that I guess how good my mom is, not just to her family, but her friends, and I don't know, she's just good to everybody. Her enthusiasm and, and her willingness to do what has to be done, no matter what. In 2008, her 14-year-old son, Jose, affectionately known as Guapo, was riding his bicycle when he was hit and killed by a drunk driver. When we put our head on the pillow, it's, um, it's the elephant in the room. And thankfully, we are there for each other, that we can decompress and let the air out and just say, I know. I'm so tired of being here. He switched from elementary to middle school. That was a very difficult transition. He suffered a lot of anxiety. But God knew that in eighth grade, he had really come around. And I can't tell you how much comfort I bring in that, knowing that he got real. <laughs> Felt really good about himself. Adriana, her husband Jose, and their daughters endure a difficult journey in the wake of Jose's death. But the one constant is that She's always there for the girls, no matter what. She signed us up for counseling. She signed us up for Tunilito. Tunilito has helped me because like, it helps me know that I'm not the only one that lost somebody. Throughout the painful process, Adriana is committed to providing emotional support for her devastated family. The moment hits at the same time, and all you can do is hold each other and let it out. And, um, but somehow find the strength to say, you know, it's going to be okay and it's something that she's done often. It's so individualized, the grief, that just a loving touch or a look is enough. To this day, Jose remains a huge part of her life as she still feels she has a relationship with him. Adriana says she will talk to him or journal to him, especially when she knows it is something he will find funny or just when she really misses him. I have conversations with him and then there's also the writing. And, and it is, it is funny. Sometimes I'm, you know, just telling him, oh, this would have been such a WAPO moment. Adriana has always been a loving and supportive mother, so much so that this extends beyond her own children. One example is when she welcomed her husband's young sister into their home. My sister came from Mexico, and so obviously it was gonna be a big adjustment. You know, she managed beautifully, but I know a large part of that was because Adriana just took her as her own. She was just a wonderful teenager. Um, and what was wonderful, she said a great example for the other three children. She honors her son's memory by supporting the mariachi group he loved. Kind of like a soccer mom, um, the, you know, the little league mom. That's what I became, the mariachi mom. For them, for my children, realize where they come from and how wonderful it can be shared with people with, that are not within the Mexican culture and that they have an appreciation for it. And it gives them a sense of pride. Oh. This is a talent I have that I can share. She fosters her relationship with her daughters by encouraging philanthropy. She goes on to say she wants to be present to support her family in their endeavors, yet allow time for herself and her relationship with her husband. I know that I can be a little punk sometimes. I know we've had our, our arguments and our disagreements, but please know that I'm really grateful for having you as a mother. And thank you for everything, and I love you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> um, Mom, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. And I don't know, that's it. Love you. I'm so fortunate to be traveling through this journey with you by my side. And I know that um, as long as you're there, we're going to be okay. I love you, enjoy, and thank you for choosing me. Adriana Rincon, Remarkable Mom. 2011.